Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So we'll be continuing our geometry course and if you remember in our previous video we discussed cyclic quadrilaterals and uh, right now like the the plan is simple. We will be revisiting the the centers of triangle we already discussed so like the ortho center, circum center and in center. We will revisit them but now we will discuss them in more details and we will like add more uh, like detailed properties for each one of them. And this will be like really helpful in solving like uh, problems that involve such centers of triangle. All right, so like today we'll be simply discussing the ortho center again. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. All right, so as you can see, we've drawn here the like a triangle ABC with the uh, ortho center H simply like we have just dropped the three altitudes from like the vertices A, B and C and we got like the points that uh, are the feet of the altitudes like D is the feet of altitude from A and we also got like E here and we have F as well. Uh, all right so let me actually like write the names that they are more apparent so this is E this is F and this is D. Of course, here we have C and we have B here as well. And here we have our point A. And of course, the like uh, the, the concurrency point here is just H. This one here. Okay, so if you like remember um, in our previous lessons, we learned something nice about the orthocenter, which is what is this angle, if you remember this angle. This angle, we agree that we need to memorize that this angle is al always like 180 minus A. So simply like this is 180 minus A. This is very like important to keep in mind. Okay. And of course, like we can find easily the other angles like uh, this angle and this angle by simply remembering that if this was like 90 degrees, then that means this angle is 90 minus B because this is B. And uh, like stuff like that, we, we can easily like find all the angles here in this like diagram before introducing the E, F and D. But now we'll be adding uh, this triangle like E and F and D. And uh, actually this like triangle has a special name. Well, because like it's related to the ortho center, guess what? It's like called the orthic triangle. So whenever you hear like the term orthic triangle, then that means uh, it's just like uh, the feet of the attitudes like D, E and F. This is the triangle that is called the orthic triangle. Okay. so. Actually, it turns out that we really have some nice things here. But what exactly are they? So first of all, if we remember, like uh, these, of course, are 90 degrees. Let's just keep that in mind. And this one as well. Guess what? Now we have like lots of 90 degrees. But if you take like a closer look, that means you have really, really lots of nice cyclic quadrilaterals like in this diagram. So try, I want you to pause the video and try to find as many cyclic quadrilaterals as you can. All right. So actually, if you got six cyclic quadrilaterals, then good job. That's exactly the amount of cyclic quadrilaterals that are in this diagram. But let's just like name these cyclic quadrilaterals. So first of all, we have simply this one, A, F, H, E. This one is cyclic. Let's write it here. So A, E, H, F. This is cyclic. The reason is really simple. Just take a look at the 90 degrees here. If you remember in the, our previous video, we, we like discussed uh, or like we stated that, we proved that if we have two opposite angles in a quadrilateral that add up to 180, like they are complementary, then that means simply you have a cyclic quadrilateral. Of course, 90 plus 90 is just 180. So that's it, we're done. This is a cyclic quadrilateral. But even something like nicer, when you have like this property that this is 90 and this is 90, then you already know what is the diameter of this circle. Like what is, if I draw now this circle, because this is cyclic, what is the diameter of this circle? Well, guess what? Because this is 90 here, that means this is the diameter like AH. So we already know that AH actually is the diameter of this uh, like circle. And uh, furthermore, of course, that just implies 
that the center of the circle is the midpoint of AH, somewhere like here. All right, so this is our like first cyclic quadrilateral. What's like about the other five cyclic quadrilaterals? Well, by symmetry, actually, you can always like do this strategy by symmetry, like you have the other ones as well. So for example, we got AEHF, but what about the other ones? Like, okay, we got this one here. We can easily find that this one also like works and this one also works. So now like actually we have uh, AEHF, you have BDHF and you have uh, CDHE. All of these are like cyclic quadrilaterals and all of them like have the same shape actually or like the same proof. Okay. So we have like three of, the, of this type, but what about the other three cyclic quadrilaterals? Also the same idea will like we will do. We will discover one cyclic quadrilateral and by symmetry we have other like others too. So what exactly are these? Well, now it's not that easy like uh, that you don't have like, uh, like uh, opposite uh, like angles add up to 180, but guess what? Still you can use these red things, but actually now you put them here Take a look what happens. Take a look at the quadrilateral B, F, E, C. B, F, E, C. This one actually is cyclic. And the reason actually is simple. Take a look at this angle B, F, C. This is 90. And B, E, C is also 90. So that means we have two angles two angles that are opposite to the same side BC. So if you remember also, we discussed that in our previous video, whenever you have something like this, like the two angles that share like, uh, like they are opposite to the same side, they are equal, that means you have a cyclic quadrilateral. So guess what? That means also we have a cyclic quadrilateral here. Let's like write its name. It's simply B, F, E, and C. All right, so that's really, really nice. That means uh, we also, of course, uh, have the other two as well, like uh, by symmetry. We have, okay, B, F, E, C. Then we can take what, for example, A, F, D, C, this one as well. And what else? Yes, we also have E, D, B, A, this one as well, because like the same thing, this is 90, this is 90. So like all of these are cyclic quadrilateral. So in total, we have, guess what, six, cyclic quadrilaterals which is actually very 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 effective especially like when you are doing angle chasing and you have lots of cyclic quadrilaterals and that's like awesome that means like you can find absolutely all the angles here in fact this thing right now will give us like a really useful and nice thing about like the point h which is the orthocenter so guess what? We know that H is the orth like the orthocenter for the big triangle ABC. But what does it represent for the orthic triangle EDF? Like, is it something special? Oh no, it's just like some random point. It's like nothing special at all. Well, let's see. Let's try like to find some angles here. For example, let's try to find this angle here. Can we find this angle? Well, remember we have like, we just like have discussed six cyclic quadrilaterals, so probably we can find anything in this diagram, right? So let's try like to find uh, what is this angle exactly. All right, let me go here for blue. Uh, so this angle, what is it? How can we like find it? Well, remember we have cyclic quadrilaterals. We can always like manipulate, go from one angle to another angle. So for example here, if you just pick uh, this cyclic quadrilateral, this one here, we discovered, uh, this angle will be simply equal to this. All right, very good. So now we know this angle is equal to this, but guess what? What is this angle? This is very easy to see because we know that this is 90 here. So that means because this is B, then this is just 90 minus B. So this one is 90 minus B. And guess what? That just means that this is 90 minus B. All right, we found this angle. What about the, the angle next to it? Like this one here. All right, so let's also like try to do the angle chasing here. What is this angle? Well, guess what? The same way, this angle, uh, like we can use this cyclic quadrilateral here, this one here, it's equal actually to this. And also this one is easy to see because this is B. So that means uh, because this is 90 in this like uh, right triangle CFB, we know that this is 90 
minus b. So guess what this means that this is 90 minus b. Well, guess what? That means that this angle is equal to this angle. So what does that mean? That means indeed h e is an angle bisector, an internal angle bisector for angle e. Well, this is great because remember always we have symmetry. So by symmetry we can see that uh, h f is also the angle bisector of this one, like this. And also like we can state that this angle is also equal to this angle. It's also an angle bisector h d. So what does that mean? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, h it turns out to be the in center of the orthic triangle. So H, the orthocenter, is the orthocenter of the big triangle ABC, but it's at the same time the in center of the orthic triangle, which is like BEF. Uh, okay, so like that's it actually for uh, like our uh, discussion for like this thing right now, like the orthocenter. Ortho after we like uh, discussed the, in the pre previous videos, the essential angle chasing uh, just for point H, not with orthic triangle. All right, so as a summary, like the orthocenter, whenever you see it in any problem, now you have lots of tools in your like pockets. So you know all the angles about the H itself, like the 180 minus A from the previous videos. You can find all the angles that, for example, are like BAH. For example, you can easily see it's 90 minus B. And uh, like all of these angles, you can easily find them. But even more, if you have like the orthic triangle in some question that like the attitudes are dropped on the other like uh, respective sides, then you already have the orthic triangle. Then that means you have six cyclic quadrilateral, which is insane. Like it's very awesome because you can find all the angles that you want. And even more, we have like the nice property that H is just the in center of the orthic triangle. All right, so are we done with the orthic triangle? Well, we're done with the orthic triangle, but not with the orthocenter. So in the next lesson, we'll be discussing like something like maybe the last property of the orthocenter before we are able to like, okay, close the orthocenter and start with another uh, like uh, center of triangle, another revisit for the other centers as well. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next video.